incident. A competitor was caught with the 4x4 OLO parody algorithm written down on their leg. <sighs> this is the WCA incident log, where all the weird things that take place in WCA competitions are reported. And while most of these are your normal judge forgets to hold a site blocker incident, some of them are a bit... Eh? Uh? Incident. Use a 3x3 cube with LEGO pieces instead of stickers in FMC. Isn't it just more inconvenient if you bring Lego? So my guess is that instead of bringing a sheet of stickers with you, you bring a sack of Legos to you for FMC, which, I don't know, kind of funny to me. But in the end, the WCA decided to approve of this because it doesn't really break any regulations at all. So there you go, you can use Legos for FMC, I guess. Incident. An improper room was used during FMC. So when I first saw this report, my first thoughts were, how can a room be improper? So according to the report, it said that the room was too small, and that way some competitors were close enough that they could look over each other's answers and cheat. And my second question was, how small can a room be? Uh, hey man, can you try to keep it down? I'm trying to do FMC here. So after doing some research, I actually found the room that this took place in. And to be fair, it doesn't look too small, kind of like maybe the size of the classroom. But from the competitor list, they had to fit 83 people into a classroom-sized room. Honestly, I'm more impressed than shocked that they could even do that in the first place. But in the end, the WCA decided that this was okay because according to the solutions, no one had the exact same thing, so... Yeah, don't cheat. Cheating is bad. You will get banned by WCA. I guess. Okay, so this next incident is very wacky. Incident. Through the years, several regulations and guidelines were violated in many competitions in Vietnam. Shout out to Vietnam. Now, this is where the fun starts. This included using illegal timers, using score sheets instead of cube covers, using stack mat timers that are not attached to mats, inspection not measured due to missing stopwatches, <gasps> Playing competitive fields and score sheets, scrambling area not isolated at all. And let me say this again, this happened across multiple competitions for 9 years. Vietnam, what are you doing? And this time around, the WCA wasn't too kind about this. So if you look at the competitions where all of these took place, they look pretty interesting. But if you don't want to attend a badly organized competition like this one, why don't you attend one organized by today's sponsor, Cubeworks. Now I'm gonna be honest, I've spent hundreds of dollars on this channel just to make these silly videos. And because I've made so few of these videos, I can't actually earn money through YouTube. Which is why I'm extremely thankful to Cubeworks as a sponsor for these videos. Cubeworks is a cubing brand that sells all sorts of products, and they even organize competitions in Southeast Asia from time to time. And if you want to support my channel so I can keep making videos like these, the best way of doing so is checking out Cubeworks, and using discount code TECH at cubeworks.com to get 10% off your order. If you're visiting the physical store, you can just show them that 1. you subscribe to my channel, and 2. you follow them on Instagram. And if you do end up doing that, I'll shout you out in my next video. So yeah. Incident. A competitor was found using his chest during one-handed. Now, the reason why this is problematic is because it's called one-handed, and according to the rules, you can't use other body parts to do so. But what I'm more curious by is, is this actually effective? So, I'm gonna go try it out. Incident. A young competitor who achieved several unusually fast times was suspected to be making turns to the cube underneath the table during inspection. So according to the report, they eventually found out that this wasn't actually the case. Instead, it was way more... how do I say this? Way more impressive. So instead of doing moves under the table during inspection, the guy just swapped out a cube. Judges, what were you doing? And for the last incident, I've saved the best for last. Incident. At a competition earlier this year, three young competitors entered restricted areas of the building where the competition was holded, despite being not told to by the delegates. Whilst in a room that was meant to be locked, two of them turned the taps on and left them on as they returned to the competition. This was not discovered until a few days later, where the water had already caused significant damage to the building. The competitors were caught and identified thanks to surveillance cameras. When confronted with the evidence, they confessed and their parents paid for the damage done to the building. Given the severity of these actions and the consequences, we gave all three competitors a ban for entering restricted areas. Um... Yikes?